Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And what a difference a day makes. Now, the US market actually recovered quite strongly, but most of the European markets are still firmly in the red um, following yesterday's kind of right in oil. Uh, a lot of uh, concerns that the uh, currency situation um, kind of globally with the strength of the US dollar is going to spiral out of control for the emerging markets. And obviously there's snap elections in Greece, which is obviously putting everybody on edge uh, about what's going to actually go ahead and happen next. Uh, we actually had some decent um, data come out of the uh, come out of, of China, uh, but that's not actually being able to turn things around that that strongly either. So uh, quite strong kind of um, this would be a hammer formation that was at the bottom of a trend, um, but we are far far away from the lows that the U.S. theory had reached yesterday and still trading above seventeen seven three eight. So. The U.S. economy seems to be soldiering on so much further than any other uh, economy out there. Uh, it's one of the reasons why people are still quite bullish, the, the U.S. dollar. But we had a huge turnaround yesterday, dollar-yen uh, reversing about 2% as uh, traders began to really unwind a lot of those bullish dollar uh, trades heading into the into the new year. And obviously after such a strong um, kind of steep move to the upside, it was an excuse for people to start to take some profits. So, I feel sorry for anybody who just entered into brand new dollar long positions straight after non-farm payrolls because they would have had a really hard day yesterday. Um, but I don't think the fundamentals have really changed dramatically. Uh, but there has been a large amount of profit taken taken in some of those dollar positions. Um, but I think the mindset still is is that there's, there's still extra just to go. So looking at the UK 100, you can see here this is an absolutely diabolical session there. On Tuesday, we had a real bad Monday, bearish engulfing pattern, very, very negative pattern there on uh, on Tuesday. We're still down again a little bit today, below that 55 period SMA, firmly below 65.89. And really, this is like a massive chasm all the way down to uh, 6,073. So UK 100 really wants to get above 65.89 sooner rather than later. Otherwise, it's in trouble. So looking at uh, Japan 2 to 5, it obviously came off a little bit yesterday as um, the yen became the safe haven of choice. Um, obviously looking at gold, uh, I talked about there being a cap on gold around about 12.18. Well, that smashed 12.18 yesterday uh, on the back of that safe haven appeal. Uh, it's now currently trading around about 12.30, but we'll come back to that in a second. Dollar yen up went all the way down to about 1.18 this morning, uh, or maybe last night. Um, so it's been quite a tumultuous uh, time for dollar yen traders, but that that obviously caused the Japan 25 to come off. Uh, we are, however, just about trading on potential support slash resistance at 17,496. Um, the technicals are all over the place right now uh, because of the volatility, but uh, we could still be on track if we can just get a, a close above 17,496. That would certainly help uh, do, um, Japan 25, but. It'd be just interesting to, to see how things unravel today and tomorrow if we are actually seeing a, a period of risk off. Or if this is literally just a huge bout of profit taking um, across a lot of the uh, the dollar majors, uh, and that obviously impacted dollar yen quite 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 a lot because of the, those extreme moves it's already gone through. And the one product that everybody's kind of pointing to as to a major driver of uh, this kind of market volatility is the price of crude oil. And you couple that together with the, with the US dollar and implications that stronger US dollar in emerging markets. Um, again, you know, obviously all the, all the US dollars that have been utilized and been borrowed by those emerging markets and what those companies in those emerging market areas have, have gotten a lot of their debt off. They ride, if they raise rates too quickly in the US, that could have quite big shockwaves right across the uh, the regions there and people bringing parallels to the 95 96 financial crisis when there's a very similar series of events that have um, that transpired then that are happening right now i.e. you know a long long term low interest rates coming to an end US dollar strength rampant and commodity prices severely depressed and uh, we are now trading comfortably below $64 uh, we're at 6270 eyeing up 5950 on Crude oil with Texas. So gold had a very strong day yesterday, smashing through 1218, looking at 1242. And there's still this aspect of you know the stronger US dollar and interest rates, how much higher can gold go? Uh, this very, very surprising move that we've uh, that, that that we had yesterday with all the other fundamentals behind it. But people are looking for safe havens, but we do have a, a tweezer top uh, potentially forming right here if this is unable to break through 1242. Uh, that would be a quite a strong reversal signal, um, but I wouldn't bet the bet the house on it since uh, gold had such a strong rally yesterday, um, and we just need to get a bit of a flavour as to where our US dollar is going next. Uh, it does feel like that that pressure is very short term, transitory in nature.
So finishing up with uh, with Euro dollar again because the greenback uh, strength came off, we actually broke above 12 at uh, one spot 2367. We've been pushed right back down again, so the dollar can arrest and control a bit of the euro, especially those um, Greece elections going on. Lots of uncertainty about Greece uh, bailout IMF stuff. Um, so we are currently pretty much bang on that level. Could be an interesting pivot for a move lower if um, things get a little bit more dicey in that part of the world. I'm finishing up with GBP USD. Uh, cap that 21 period SMA. Well, seemingly cap that 21 period SMA. Um, resistance one spot 57.43. Potential support still remains one spot 56. So economic data wise, just to finish things up, uh, as I said, we did have some uh, some Chinese data that came out uh, slightly better than um, than expected from. Uh, Oh, sorry, no, sorry, worse than expected. Sorry for the for the CPI and uh, PPI. It was Monday's data that was that was quite good, and um, there's not a huge amount today. And obviously Thursday is when we've got a little bit more. We do have jobless claims and retail sales. Uh, make sure you've got your alarms set for that on the economic calendar. And uh, as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Um, you can see here there's been lots of real great updates here from uh, Jasper Lawyer, our UK market analyst, um, talking a lot about the big breakouts and, and gold. Make sure you make insights part of your layout so you can be um, so you can be informed. As you can see, market online surprises. But got three from China, Greece, and Tesco yesterday, um, and with China, it's all about potential stimulus and everything else. Uh, everybody's all worried about potential slowdown in the world's second biggest economy. And basically, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.